frequency beings. How do you think you're able to understand or interpret what I'm saying? All that's coming out of my mouth is a vibration, which your skin, your ears, everything is picking up that signal and you're translating all of that vibration into thoughts that comes out of my mouth. So we're all frequency beings and our skin, that's your biggest antenna. So when you have Wi-Fi in your home, electromagnetic fields, these are all distorted frequencies that's going to impact you negatively. Which brings me to 5G. You heard about Smart City here in Toronto? Guess what? That Smart City is not limited to Toronto. There's also Smart Cities everywhere in the very city that you live in. So, what is what really is 5G? 5G is, uh, what you're hearing from the mainstream media about 5G is just a pixel. And what is that pixel? I'll describe to you what that pixel is. That pixel is telling you that you can download movies in seconds. That's the kind of cool cover story that the Black Ops or the CIA would put out. So what people don't know is that there's more to 5G than that. So 5G, in essence, is we're talking about frequency. These frequencies range from, actually from 300 megahertz up to 300 gigahertz. And once you get, you get into the higher end of that frequency, starting from the band of uh, uh, 30 gigahertz up until 300 gigahertz, between that, once you're uh, just hitting 60 gigahertz, that's when it starts to interfere with your bone marrow production. And you know what that bone marrow does? Your bone marrow produces uh, red blood cells. And what is the function of red blood cell? It carries your oxygen. Okay, so that interferes with your oxygen, uh, your respiratory system. And they describe that as COVID. So you think all of these things that they're not connected? Yeah, they're absolutely connected. COVID is just a means to an end, just like 9-11. And they're trying to bring in control. And let me tell you what, 5G is the capstone of this uh, entire agenda because this entire agenda, what they're trying to bring in is Internet of Things. So they're going to start with Internet of Things. That's why they're getting people to be addicted to their smart gadgets. They're getting people, I mean, it's going to be easy for them to introduce the Internet of Bodies. And guess what? In order for the Internet of Bodies to work, you need two things. The first one, the infrastructure. That's the 5G. At the minimum, they need a 5G as a minimum infrastructure in order to make that happen. The second part of that, Internet of Bodies, is the vaccine because you need a microchip in order to transform people into cyborgs so that you can interact with materials. That's why they call that the Internet of Things. It doesn't stop again with Internet of Things where you can talk to your appliances. Your appliances can talk to each other. They want to make you to be able to talk to your appliance. That's where Internet of Bodies would come in. And at the minimum, they need the 5G technology in order to make that happen. And it doesn't stop at 5G because you're going to get beyond 5G. You're going to get into 6G, the terahertz wave, so on and so forth. Think in terms of frequency, energy, and vibration because we are all frequency beings. Then all of these things, they start to make sense. So don't believe your CIA cover story that you can download movies. No, why do you need movies? Are you so emotionally bankrupt that you have to constantly entertain yourself with pedo Hollywood movies? Hell no! I'd rather have a face-to-face -face conversation with another human being! So get out and speak to your neighbors! Your family! Starting with your family and then go out and speak to your neighbors! We're meant to be human beings, we're not cyborgs! So 5G, 6G, remember that. That's another front that they're going to attack us with. They're all addicted to the video gaming. I do have an acoustic meter with me, and everywhere I go, I measure the radiation. We're being cooked right now. And it's going to get worse. Why? Because they're trying to terraform the earth. To what? To what? These are satanic worshippers. These are satanic worshippers and they're terraforming the earth. And who's the inhabitant of the earth right now? So what does that mean if they're trying to terraform? Who's the inhabitant right now? Us! 
So if you can't make that connection, then you seriously have some thinking to do. Take back your humanity. So what can we do about this? We fight with honor. How do we do that? I'm sure I've talked to many, many people in this circle. And people have talked to me and asked me, Will, Will are you part of the Empower Movement? I said, no, I'm not part of the Empower Movement. However, back in April, I discovered a California-based citizen's journalist. Her name is Lena Pooh. She fashioned herself as a 5G expert. So I decided to take a look at what she had to say in a 13 minute video. Some of you guys have received my letter and that's one of the first video that I posted that I shared with everyone that you can see in that letter. Now, I was intrigued by what she had to say. In fact, I was so intrigued enough that I went on further and found that she actually did a lecture back in September in the Silicon Valley Health Institute. And in that lecture, she showed a blood study. She mentioned that she did a blood study and she showed and she shared her findings. And what is her findings? Her finding, her, basically that study, that blood study involves uh, taking the blood sample, the blood sample of a 